Hello, my name is Larry Lutnagger. I'm, I'm a gunsmith and CEO of Pattern Master Chokes. Uh, the purpose of this today is, is I'm going to try to explain the technology behind Pattern Master and some of the ways that uh, I can help you sell our product at the stores. Um, what makes Pattern Master different than, than all the other tubes? Well, Ever since shotguns been around, they've always tried to control the, the, the patterns with constriction. Well, one of the bad things about that is with that, it's like dumping sand in a funnel. Everything can't pass through. You end up with a very long shot string. When you're shooting at something that's moving or flying, uh, and you have 20 foot of shot string, even if you hit what you're shooting at, you didn't hit, you missed with more of your pattern than what you hit it with. What is shot string? Shot string is when all of, the, the, all of your BBs leave the barrel, your shot string is from your first BB to your last BB. Okay? With constriction type tubes, um, that shot string can get up to 20 feet long. It just scatters out because you're running it through a constricted area and it just lengthens the shot string. By using Pattern Master or the Code Black with the stud technology, what you're doing is you're allowing everything to exit at the same time without the constriction so everything stays together and, and produces a extremely hard hitting impact. When, you're, when your geese and your ducks fall, you're not chasing cripples. They're, they're dead when they hit the ground. What makes Pattern Master different? This is a Pattern Master cutaway tube and I've cut this away so you can actually see what's inside. And as if you look in here, you'll see that there's a, a series of five little blocks or studs located inside the tube. What they do, first of all, Pattern Master doesn't use constriction to control the patterns. We do it with this stud ring, and this is how it works. As the wad travels through the tube, uh, carrying the shot, and the base of it hits that stud ring, it will retard this just long enough for all of your shot to go out at the same time. So what we've just done there is we've taken a 20 foot shot string and we brought it down to two to two and a half feet. Now when you, when you put that on your game or your prey or your geese, your ducks, whatever you happen to be shooting, you're going to hit with 90% of your pattern all at one time versus maybe 10% that you actually was using before with a constriction tube. The way that we can control the size of the pattern, uh, we don't do it with changing internal dimensions. The pattern masters, whether they're classic or code black, they're the same dimensions inside. The way that we can control how large the pattern gets is by the amount that sticks out the end of the barrel. You'll notice on the goose tube, you'll have an inch and a half that sticks out the end. The reason for that, the wad inside of a three and a half shell is inch and a half long. So we make this so when the base of that wad hits in here in the stud ring, everything is still inside here when it separates the shot from the wad. And that produces a very full pattern at extreme ranges with a three and a half inch shell. Well, everybody doesn't want a super full tube and everybody's not shooting three and a half inch ammo. If you're shooting two and three quarter or three inch, all you would need is our long range. Our long range uh, would accommodate the shorter wad that's inside the two and three quarter and three inch. Now, and it would still produce a full to an extra full pattern. Now, everybody still would like to have something more open for a different type game. The way that we do that. is you notice how, how much we're cut back right here. And the Pattern Master, the long, the long range is this length. We have a mid range, which would be cut back half of this, so you'd have about a half inch that stuck out the end of the barrel. Now, the reason we do that, when the wad comes through carrying the shot, and this is cut back halfway, You'll notice you have a half inch of wad that is sticking out the front of the tube, allowing the BBs go and get to go into a larger circle. Okay, 
So your, your pattern gets bigger this way, but it still stays very short and dense this way. Now, to take it one step farther than that, what we do is we'll cut it all the way back to this length. Now you have the whole wad sticking out the front, allowing to open up when you take the wad away from the shot. So it just got larger again this way, but still very short this way. That's how the Pattern Master stud technology works. The stud ring is inside of our Pattern Master Classics. They're available in black and silver. Uh, they're also available in ported and unported. Um, and they also have an uh, extended range, a long range, a mid range, and a short range. Now, we also use this studded technology inside of our uh, Code Black, some of our Code Black tubes. The Code Black has got a very nice bronze, uh, it's a titanium nitrate coating. It's the same thing they put on machine tools to make them last. Uh, we coat it with that after, after they're made. Now, they also have uh, the stud technology. Now, this length right here in the Pattern Master Classic would be called the Extended. In the Code Black, it's called the Goose. The reasoning for the Code Black, it, a lot of people would come in and when we got to be, when we got making a lot of different tubes, they would come in for a tube, they would be confused because they didn't know which one to buy. They didn't want to buy the wrong one. So they leave the store without a tube. So when we come up with our Code Black series, it says right on the tube what it's for. This, for instance, the long one is called the Goose. The uh, shorter one would be called the Duck. We have the short range, which is called the Upland, Decoy, Pigeon, Timber, all of those different names depending on where the market is that we're selling them. The difference in the Classic and the Code Black, for one, the color. The Classic has a, uh, a dark black finish on it, nitrate finish. And uh, the Code Blacks have a titanium PVD coating on them.